Okay, so it's morning of day three, this adventure, and we are headed to the Mojave Road. Yes, indeed. We're going to document the Mojave Road like it's never been documented before. We're going to explore it like it's never been explored before. So we say, ha <laughs> yet, uh, yet, yet to be seen. Uh, we've got an awesome four vehicle convoy with four winches, four tricked up four wheel drive vehicles. And we're going to see what we can, uh, what we can find out there. Okay. So hopefully we'll see some things that have never been seen before by us. I mean, so anyway, we'll be back with a lot of, a lot of video and photos from the road. Yeah, the red light. Okay, so we're in the parking garage in Laughlin. Get ready to roll out to the big Mojave. In the front view of the Jeeps. Loaded up, jacked up, and ready to go. Gray Jeep's a little overweighted there. And there's the other half of our convoy. Grand Cherokee, Toyota Tundra. Oh, it's it's stunning. It's gonna be an adventure. Yes, we go home. We don't have to do it. Did you want? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we just started our trek on the Mojave Road. Uh, this east end not hadn't been too bad so far because uh, a lot of rain last night, all night, but the sand seems to have absorbed it uh, right up. So uh, we've had the drone up a little bit. We can fly drone on this side, but uh, once we enter the actual National Preserve, we won't be able to do that. So uh, anyway, we're going to work our way towards Fort Paiute Runs, and that's going to be our uh, our first stop on the trail. It looks like so. Uh, Moving on, Mojave Trail, 2019.
Okay, so the first part of the trail has been uh, really rocky, a little rockier than expected. I was kind of expecting sand for this part, but uh, we're getting close to the Paiute Mountains. And uh, yeah, so we're hitting a lot of rock and so forth, but uh, moving along. Oh, we're in the no-fly zone, so there won't be any more drone footage till we get to the other side. Unless I find a spot that's uh, outside of the no-fly zone. There is some little uh, gaps in it, so we may be able to do something. We'll see. We'll be back in a few. Okay, so we just stopped to get some of these colors down in this uh, down in this wash down here, a little, little canyon. Already we've encountered three other vehicles on the trail, so uh, a little congestion on the Mojave Road. Okay, so we're at Fort Paiute. Still here. After all these years. Okay. I found the hole. Yeah, buddy. Emily okay so it's uh, we're at the penny tree I guess so we're gonna go up about another mile take a right go to a little higher ground and uh, it's supposed to be a nice grove of trees with a campsite Homestead or something to that effect. Oh my gosh. Look at there. Okay, so it's uh, first night out in the Mojave. Turn this off here. And uh, we um, found us a campsite. We got in way after dark because we had a lot of problems with the. Uh, with the weather, it's a mess, but it's been fun, been challenging. Had to do a couple of winch, a couple of winchings and a couple of towings because to, uh, of the ice and the snow and so forth. So we found us a campsite here, kind of off the beaten path a little bit. Um, 
It's actually an old two track that looks like it hadn't been used in forever. So hopefully we can get up and get out of here early in the morning, get a good night's rest. It's cold out here. It's gotta be in the thirties, probably gonna be in the twenties tonight. So uh, anyway, uh, we'll get some footage here from camp. We're going to switch over and shoot with the Sony. The Canon is just not cutting it for this fast grab and go footage. I mean, the controls just even uh, on and off. Um, it, it's just not near as rapid access, so to speak, as this uh, Sony is. So we're gonna probably do the rest of the trip with the Sony, except maybe some landscape stuff with the Canon. The Canon just takes too much time, and when we need something, we need it. Like I said, grab and go. So anyway, we're gonna have a look around camp here in a minute. We'll be back. Thank you. 